How you going, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. It is a horse apocalypse update, <laughs> and I'm keen. I'm keen to get started. Get myself a horse this way. I saw in the update they removed your own footstep sounds from the game, and it's really kind of freaking me out, to be honest. I don't like it. Sadly, my recording for the first few hours of Wipe Corrupted, I'd made my way across the map to put down a base near Bandit Camp with the plan to use this dirt road to farm up some comps and get a start. It was Force Wipe, so without any blueprints, I knew I had to get moving before the server filled up with groups, which would definitely hinder my progress. I'd managed to get a starter base down and had also bought a horse from Ranch. Ranch was a long way away, so I ended up building an external tool cupboard to use as a temporary stables. Man, we got bases popping up left, right, and center. Oh, it's like a village. Oh, no. This area has got so hostile so quick. What the hell? This area is gonna be shit. Uh... What? There's a base right there. Oh my god. I need to make some progress ASAP. I went back to try and go deep, but these guys seem to have rage quit. Uh. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> nah, I gotta take Revy home. 200 fertilizer? Can I like sell that? God, I'm gonna make so many enemies so fast around here. No way. 
What are you doing? <laughs> That's the quickest lost Remy ever. Didn't even heal up. What are you doing? That's a quick, uh, <laughs> quick roller coaster. All right, we gotta we gotta work out this base. We gotta do some farming. Yeah, these guys didn't even come back. So good. <laughs> no way they quit that easy. And we're gonna get so many like metal hatch hatchets around here from people trying to do the challenge. I didn't realize at the time, but when I rushed back out with a crossy, I accidentally took the fertilizer with me too. I wasn't too fussed because I didn't really know what it was worth. Two fertilizer gets you three scrap. And he had 200 of it. No way. You are kidding me. That was 600 scrap worth of fertilizer. No, dude. Bases had started to pop up all around me, and that's when I found out the village just up the road from me were much further progressed than I originally thought. Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. So naturally, I tried to grub them. And these guys are going to be trouble for me. That's a vending machine, no way. <laughs> Damn, I thought that headshot was gonna kill that guy. so bad. I whiff so bad. That's a two side. <laughs> uh, the boys. Oh my god. We are going straight home. <laughs> Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. That's just what I needed. Just needed to get lucky. Damn, there's a lot of nodes up there. Killed me so easy. 
The guy whiffed with the nail gun. Thank God, 131 crude. It had been an enjoyable morning of force wipe, but it was time for a coffee break. When I returned, the plan was to farm up and get a compound down, to keep the grubs away and have somewhere to place a composter to start gathering fertilizer, which I could then sell for scrap at bandit camp. As so often happens in Rust though, this isn't how my wipe would pan out. Alright, I'm gonna start making some progress. And we have so much crude, it's insane. And quite a bit of scrap really. We should look at making a tier two shortly. What's going on? Getting hell. So many. No, don't tell me that's their base. That is 100% their base. them. That's really annoying. What's that like a 3-4 man? It's just not a very good spot. That's the that's the problem. It's not a fresh spawn on a full pop server. It's not a good spot. <laughs> so many. With a new Zerg moving in, just a stone's throw from my base, it was at this moment that I made the difficult decision a number of hours into wipe to move base locations. Like, I know it's a bit outrageous since I already have like a base and external TCs, but I think I might, I think I might move. I think I might move. 
Can't really get anything done in my area with all the fresh spawns. All the freaking nakeds. <laughs> Amongst the commotion, I had lost my horse. So I headed up to Ranch to complete the NPC challenge and buy a new horse that I could use to scout a new base location. 100 scrap to kill a boar. Are you kidding me? Surely there's got to be a boar around here somewhere. Oh my god, it's a chainsaw. chainsaw. Did not kill a boar though. This might be a problem. Egypt. All these horses are kind of shit. They're kind of slow. <laughs> Alright. You will do. Oh yeah. Half a day into wipe day, I found myself a new home deep into the snow. And this was honestly the greatest decision I've made in some time, as I'd end up building one of my favorite, most unique bases to date. I had a lot of loot to move, but with the help of my newly acquired horse, I was able to do it safely. Oh, this is so much fun. Better. Such a more enjoyable way to play Rust, <laughs> rather than like toughing it out with the grubs. I didn't have an exact plan for a base in mind, so I decided just to wing it and come up with something unique.
Yesterday was like a weird day of rust. It was a weird day. It was like one of those days when anywhere that I built just didn't feel good. Didn't feel like home. But now we've got our little eye space. Uh oh. Someone's been snooping around and then they saw the armored floor. Oh shit. I'm feeling this eye space. This is feeling good. It's going to be a good day. So it, it's the start of day two and there are less people on at the moment because it's, it's pretty early on the Saturday morning in Australia. I should try and get some cards. Like we'll run a harbor, get a few blue cards, maybe get a few red cards from airfield. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to we're gonna finish off this base, which the way that I've built it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> shouldn't take too long to do. It's going to be a bit of an interesting, interesting design. But yeah, that's the plan. I can't wait. Ah, metal crags. Perfect thing to wake up to. Damn, they're all slow. Ooh, actually. Hello there. Hell yeah. Oof. It's a fast boy. Man, that's a 300 scrap. Let's grab that real quick. Sweet. Oh man, I love these challenges. Let's get home. After that, I put down my compound, which featured a wooden gate for easy horse access. Even though I placed the gate to open the wrong way, it actually turned out to work pretty well. No. <laughs> God damn. It. Well, we got a little compound down. That's kind of cool. Now I can put my composter down. See how that works. I don't actually know how they work, eh? Guess we start making our way down here. Hey, we're pretty close, really. I need like another one, another scrap run. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> yes. Nice. Alright, now we just need the barricades and we're, we're good. I like it, man. I like this little base. Not long after that, I noticed the lock crate had been at Airfield for a while, so I headed over to check it out. Alright, let's go see what's happening in Airfield. All I want, like, if I can get away... Just with a gun, that's what I want from this. I haven't heard any like big boy guns just yet. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab this saw. Uh... Oh, should've brought an Ioka, man. That's crazy, how does he know that? I died, but as any good solo does, I headed back to see if I could score any scraps. I can't believe how bad that timing was. That guy coming down the stairs and looking to his left. Where? 
Hey, got the rip. Nice. Yeah, I can't believe a solo with a Saar and a Hazzy one airfield. That's crazy. Okay, not a huge fan of the Revy, but we're definitely going to learn it. Because that way I got at least some sort of weapon to fall back on. It wasn't much, but being my second chance at securing a Revy for this wipe, I decided to research it. Alright, we just pop you in the corner. I assume that's all you have to do, is pick up the poop and put it in the <laughs> composter. After another comps run, I had enough scrap to tech tree to garage door and metal barricade. So I whacked down some garage doors, secured the compound, and placed some planter boxes. Ah, uh, that feels nice. I'd end up playing around with some berry farming this wipe also. And while it isn't the feature of this video, it highlighted to me just how overpowered a small farm can be to aid in a solo's progression. So I knew I'd have to do a berry farm wipe at some point to show you guys. Okay, we got scientists. I guess that means the puzzle is not done. Run, dude. I can run. <laughs> Ooh, a crate. Surely, surely we've made it. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, my god. Man, I don't think it's ever taken me that long to get a decent gun. Alright, let's do a run to outpost to recycle. Maybe buy an oil refinery? Look at that stamina. Oh man, horses are just such a game changer. Like, as a solo, that's insane. <laughs> to get here that fast. <laughs> like, building that far away. So good, man. Nicely done, Chestnut. Nicely done. Uh, we got the oil refinery. That is the perfect spot for it. Right there. Man, today is just so much more enjoyable than yesterday. <laughs> Trying to fend off the grubs all day. I saw some like video on TikTok saying, talking about how to like perfectly split up your oil refinery. So we're gonna give this a try, see if it works. They reckon you go 150, 143, and then 51. And then it just cooks like all of that. So we'll see, we'll see if that works. We've still got quite a bit of work to do on the base, but just the general, like, general vibes are just so much higher today. <laughs> so for now, we'll pop down a solar panel. So yeah, we'll just extend this because we're gonna, we're gonna have a roof on here eventually anyway. This is definitely the way to play Rust, man. Water in. <laughs> oh 
chestnut's about to get a bath. Alright. I get to have a break. That's crazy. That's a little low grade. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully chestnut survives. heard chestnut yes <laughs> he's alive all right chestnut we are gonna go steal some of those pumpkins no oh my god i know he came out of nowhere shouldn't have left you i shouldn't have run so far away that was a close call. Do we maybe take a run to uh, <clears throat> Bandit? We'll take all this fertilizer. After seeing just how valuable fertilizer was, I took Chestnut for a run to Bandit Camp to trade what I had for scrap. I also bought some water containers to fill up the water catcher on my roof so I could start growing some berries. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Let's see how much 460 fertilizer gets me. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. <laughs> It's 700 scrap, like, <laughs> that's insane. I just lost like 10 years of my life. Oh, we made it. We did it, Chestnut. You've done well. You got some pickles. Okay, so we want to learn the large furnace and Tommy. crazy it's like endless endless scrap and that's just with one horse after that i managed to find another horse and then i needed another short break and when i returned no <laughs> oh man oh man I think they killed my horses. Oh shit. Some little shits broke into my base and killed my horses. Oh shit. Oh my god, someone actually tried to raid me. Man, they kind of use like a fair bit of boom too. So sad about my horses, man. <laughs> um, what did I have upstairs? I don't think I had much in those boxes. I did have a fair bit of cloth, maybe. But I still got a lot. <clears throat> I think there was like a thousand cloth up there. Man, I'm lucky I have that bunker there, that's for sure.
In the short time I'd been offline, I almost fell victim to an offline raid, but the unexpected armoured offset bunker had caught the raiders off guard and resulted in them getting hardly any loot and definitely not profiting. As a result of this though, they had stolen or killed my horses and even drank all the water from my water catcher. Uh, classic uh, Rust console things I guess. The saddest part though, was it turned out to have been a 4 man group that had fail raided me offline. Ooh, hold on. What? A 4 man? <laughs> what? And if the bag skins were any indication, it was the group I tried grubbing at the start of White, who'd moved to the nearby island and had the same door skin on their furnace base. And although this was the start of a seemingly perfect revenge story, sadly by the time I went to check out their base, they'd already been raided. So for the time being, I turned my focus to fortifying the base, and then I was roaming close to airfield when something interesting happened. Oh my god. There is no way that just happened. Okay. So we have an AK now. An exploit ammo? <laughs> oh my god. I decided to keep my head low for a little while after this and set up a pretty awesome automatic sprinkler system to help to conserve water. It had been a really enjoyable day of playing Rust as a solo, but as so often happens in this game, this feeling can be fleeting, as others only want to see you suffer. Okay. Wait, what? Hey, oh, my horse just... Just died? I oh, it didn't die. I got raided. I stole my fucking horse. Are you kidding me? But didn't steal the dung? While recording, I had thought my horse had just died from hunger, but the reality was much more grim. And a short while later, chaos would break out right next to my base.
Fuck, I need walls so bad. so bad. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn, you just need to be better, like, you, first of all, <laughs> first of all, you just need to be better, but then second of all, you need to be better prepared. You need walls, man, like, taking out an AK without walls. Stupid. Ah, oh, this game. Oh, no, we're good. It's not over yet, man. <laughs> it's not over yet. Still make a massive play. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> We're going straight back out. It's still popping. Jesus. Ah, fuck me. It's a fucking war zone. <laughs> oh my god. This is what you waged your whole life for. Just want to get that body and get out, that's all I want. Jesus! Man, this area is active as right now. After that, I went back to Bandit and sold my fertilizer with a little life hack. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. That is an OP strat. I literally set up like my exercise bike, <laughs> like my indoor trainer, and I just sat on it with my uh, controller, trading in, trading in some fertilizer every now and then. And after like an hour and hour and ten minutes, we have two thousand scrap. After spending most of my scrap on some useful blueprints, I'd just about done what I wanted to on this server. But I had noticed a compound that had gone up close by to me, so I wanted to check that out as a parting gift to myself. Wish I had more ladders, bro. Nah, I actually need to come back with more ladders. That's a real opportunity. <laughs> Garage doors. I think I heard large furnaces on. No barricades on their jump on their uh, on their gatehouse. <laughs> oh, that's like a, it's like a grub's dream. No, dude. I'm friendly. <laughs> I'm still taking 
some ladders over to that base. You place it as he builds. I don't know why he didn't hear. <laughs> didn't hear. This was a satisfying way to go out, making a non-verbal bond with a random naked to try and mess with this group. I ended up messaging this guy on the PlayStation app and he was pretty chill so I gave him my base with all the remaining loot and once I finally logged off for the night, yeah he got raided literally within like 5 minutes. Overall, I had a great time building a unique base, getting stuck into the Horsepocalypse update and making the most of this broken fertilizer method and I couldn't wait to do it all over again on the next fresh Rust console wipe.